uh, number nine, just for fun, uh, anyone want to guess what the number one song on the Billboard oh. charts was 33 years ago today? Uh, it was 1990. Yeah. Take a guess. I'm going to say, uh, say Wilson Phillips. Funky Cold Medina. Uh, okay. I'm happy you know it. Unbelievable. Like this. Remember when Like a Prayer came out? Yeah, oh. it was just huge. Vogue by Madonna. She was 31 at the time. Warner Brothers just wanted a B-side single, so they would only give her five grand to make this song. It was recorded in a basement closet. That was where Mad Madonna did her vocals. And here's something else that's interesting. This video was directed by David Fincher. You know, the guy who did Fight Club 7, huh. The Social oh. Network, Zodiac, House of Cards, a ton of other stuff. Oh. Boy, that was great. Hmm. All right. Number eight, everyone out there with an overbearing mother will appreciate this. It was tweeted by presidential historian Michael Beschloss. It's from 1962, so this is right after the Cuban Missile Crisis. It's a letter from President John F. Kennedy to his mother asking her not to contact Nikita Khrushchev again without <laughs> consulting him first. <laughs> Dear Mother, I signed today the pictures from Khrushchev. Would you be sure to let me know in the future any contacts you have with heads of state, etc., concerning requests for pictures and signatures? What? Requests of this nature are subject to interpretations, and therefore I would like to have you clear them before they are sent. <laughs> oh. Needless to say, the picture is most most interesting and will be highly regarded. Love, Jack. Huh. Oh. Well, you think you just call her up and be like, hey, knock it off. Yeah. yeah. Well, sometimes with your brothers, you need to put it in writing. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> they don't like right? all of them, right? Hear yeah. you the first time. Yeah. 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 All right, number seven. Uh, we take them for granted now, but there was a time when pineapples used to pen. cost tens of thousands of, or thousands of dollars. Christopher Columbus first saw them on the Caribbean island of Guadalupe in 1493. He and his crew took them back to Spain, and people loved them. They tried to grow them, but it didn't work because pineapples need a tropical climate to grow. In the mid-17th century, they learned to grow them in hothouses, but they were in low supply. They were also considered luxury items. In the American colonies, they were so hard to get that a single pineapple could cost as much as $8,000 in today's dollars. Wow. People used to rent them, not to eat them, uh, not to give as gifts. They just carried them around at parties as a sign of wealth mm. and affluence. Wow. wow. What do you know? Fun times. Now you can get them for a couple bucks. Yeah. All right, number six, next time you order Chinese food, you might not need a plate. Here's a hack you might not know about your takeout box unfolds what? so you can turn it into a tray. Get out of here. Oh. It saves you from having to do the dishes, which is always a plus. Yeah. Keep in mind, this only works for stuff like the rice or noodles, because anything with the gravy, you know, oh, it's going right. to spill all over the place. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, look yeah, at yeah. that. Oh, I'm oh, getting so hungry. Great. Yeah. Oh, some Chinese would be great right about now. Mm. Uh, but we got a meat doll instead. Yeah, yeah. we do. <laughs> uh, number five, you're doing your out-of-office reply all wrong. <laughs> Workplace experts say, stop being polite. Don't say, I'll be out of the office with limited access to email, blah, 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 blah. Why? Because people will still email you. Yeah, they will. Because you left it open with the whole limited access line. Try this instead. I am out of the office. Uh, insert dates here. If you need additional assistance, please contact, and then you insert the colleague info. Uh, that leaves people with no options. You're not available. You won't be responding. And then follow through. Uh, don't respond. Don't be available. Once you do that, you break the seal. And do not cave. Do not break the seal. It's a good All word. Right. All right. Number four. One thing we're sad we missed back in March was the World Clown Association Convention. It's held in Orlando, and you might remember that back in 2016, there was this short-lived fad of creepy clowns showing up in neighborhoods and just standing there. It happened here and in Europe, so the clown convention people were just bouncing back from that and the pandemic hit. Mm. They were back with a bang this year, and the theme was a clown for every season. 200 clowns were there with contests for wardrobe, balloons, and something called paradeability. Mm. There's also a special category for the tramp hobo clowns. Hmm. Oh, they've fallen on hard times. I feel badly for them.
Yeah, do kids, I mean, it's not like uh, kids are saying I need to have a clown birthday party no, anymore. Right. It's not really something yeah. that... Hey, my kids look at them like they're creeps. Yeah. 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 What well, happened? All you, all you parents out there, start forcing clowns on all your young yeah. children. Yeah. 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 Learn to appreciate them at a young age. All right, number three, it's going to be hot this week. You might want your very own step-on fan. Oh. Okay, allows you to cool your body from the bottom up, so you'll Ooh. feel that cool, gentle sensation <laughs> from blowing yeah. right up there. Right up your shorts. What do you know? It's also waterproof. You can use it in the bathroom. Imagine getting stepping out of a hot tub and onto this little device. Oh, wow. Nice uh, little blowy draft there, and there you go. Wonderful. All right. All right. Uh, number two, thanks to Ruslana Terkidi and Ooh. her adorable little one for this. Uh, it's a great clip to start off the week. Oh, this is good. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Let me, uh, let me rethink this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll try another one, yeah. Let me give one more try. <laughs> it looks so appetizing. Yeah. Ah, I think he's got it. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. That is good stuff. Oh, that's awesome. All right, number one. So there's a, uh, a band called uh, Wolfpack that you might not have heard of, but they are a funk band that's been around for more than 10 years, and they're popular, to say the least. Uh, they sold out Madison Square Garden without a manager or a big label. Member of the band named Jack Stratton has a side project called Wolfmon, mm. and he has a new single with a great video. The song is is called I Can't Party. I saw a cute fluff ball at the coffee shop. I asked, Can I pet it? She said, Me or the dog. I said, Whoa. Quick wit, she said, pull up a chair. I've got a thousand dad jokes I've been wanting to share. She had me in stitches, fully tickled, hotter than Portman, funnier than Rickle. She said, my friends are in town tonight and we're all going out. They're Swedish and single and I'm showing them around. You want to come with? You seem cool and artsy. That's when I broke the news. Honey, I, 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 I can't party. I can't party. Party. I can't party. It's mesmerizing. Yeah. That's sold out Madison Square Garden. You should really now. reconsider. Yeah, My bless. friends, they are a blast. And if you get too tired, What's you could again? always crash Both? with us. My mansion, my private chef is vegan, my private chef is great. Name your favorite meal and she'll put it on your plate. I thought, wow, she's rich and clearly a smarty, but I needed to reiterate. Lotar is a world class musician. Does this drive you crazy what you're seeing right now? I can't. scowling. I see him scowling yeah. over there. I gotta tell you, those are some strong thigh muscles yeah. there. I don't yeah. know. He's yeah, you that wonder if so he's sitting suspended by strings or something. No. What's that? Party. Squatting at a 45 degree angle? I mean, think? just, yeah, just, it's, it's, oh, look at, it's a yeah. long time. I know yeah. you guys are, are yeah. done as, as physical <laughs> specimens or athletes. How does this guy kneeling at 45 I mean, look degrees? At me. He's staying, that's a lot. That's a yeah. solid 35 to 45 yeah. degree angle. That's a good angle. hinge he's working yeah. with. He's 25 years old. He yeah, can he's do that all day hands. long. Larry will tell you all the time, you can squat with using your hands against your knees any day. He's yeah. not, though. He he's, keeps I mean, doing it. He keeps giving the seat. He keeps giving himself breaks. Yeah. But still, Trick of the trade, Robin. And then he's You'll never see Larry on a hack squat machine using his <laughs> arms to push himself up. That's a long... Wow. Yeah. That's good it's on good a lot stuff, of levels right? there. Yeah. yeah. Impressive. That's a night at nine.